Hey guys, it's Roz. I wanted to show you the No Attack. I've had this thing since the fall, but I really wanted to get some use out of it before I started showing you, showing you what the pack was all about. I've been using it every day, and I've been tweaking it and working with it and, and getting the pack to work for me. And you know, it's getting there. Every time, every time I go out, I come home and make make some different changes. But um, I'm gonna take my stuff off of here. But every time I go hiking, when I get back, I replenish things like my bandanas. I wear one on my head, and I like to tie one like around my wrist that's wet, um, to keep me cool. And I like to put them on because sometimes when I go hiking, I'm like running out of the house. I have like one minute to like grab my stuff and go. So when I'm running out one minute, I just want to grab this bag that's already stocked. And I want to grab my water, you know, phone, keys, and wallet, okay? So, but basically all, all my other gear is in here that I need to, like, go on a hike. And I would go on a hike anywhere between, yeah, I would use it for an hour. Actually, I've been using my Remora for, like, my one-hour hikes. But I would use this for, like, two to four-hour kind of thing, like, half day. You know, maybe even a whole day. Um, anyway, so what this is is the um, Maxpedition No Attack. And you can see this at maxpedition.com. And this is like the little brother or the little sister of the Sitka. And then the larger version of that is the Kodiak, okay? And this is in khaki color. All right, so this is a really nice size little, little pack. Um, it's got a, a grab handle on the top, like a foam grab, grab handle. It has a compression strap here, which I love because I like being able to put a jacket or, or you can even put like wet, a wet towel in there and put it behind your compression strap and jack it down. And I know some people don't prefer the compression straps, but you can just remove them. There's two, two remove points here and then the bottom strap also can come undone right there. Okay, so let me move that on back. So at the top here is a hook and loop field. I just have this little patch on there. So it's a hook and loop feel with like this uh, bungee cord thing. So you can like, as you saw, I keep my bandana in there. You can keep different items. Um, there's a slip sleeve back here that you can slide some stuff into. Right now I have a buck smidgen in there. So here there's a, a front pouch here with a zipper um, sleeve. And there's a water bottle holder here, which is real nice. Nice big size bottle holder. And it has a uh, little grommet on the bottom. Can you see that? Here we go. Okay, so if you were like traveling in a public place or something, it's kind of nice to be able to snap this shut to protect anyone from getting into this zipper. It's just one quick little security feature. Of course, there's Molly here. I think a monkey, a uh, Millspec monkey combat admin pouch could fit there. And then it's just a slip sleeve here. I keep my, my ready grab items like snacks and tissues. I always have to have tissues when I hike. Okay, and then behind that is a larger zipper pouch, and as you see, it comes about one quarter of the way down here, unzips all the way around the top, down the side, and just about half, half to the bottom here. So it opens up into like a clamshell. What I have in here is a, um, this is Max Maxpeditious too, this is a hook and loop, uh, I think they call it a double insert. So it has these two pockets here, which are, have like that Trico lining in there, like for camera bags, nice and soft. I keep my my compass in there. Um, let me let me stick my iPhone in there because it's not quite built for something like the iPhone, but it does fit. So I can get my iPhone in there and I'm able to shut it. So so that's pretty nice for me. I can have access to that kind of stuff there. But oops, sorry. Um, behind this is um, there's little sleeves here behind the the, um, the pouches. Little sleeves here behind the pouches. And then this opens up into, you know, something similar to what, like, the Janus is. It has um, a pack sleeve here, full size, and then two elastics there, and a keeper. So that's just a nice little admin pouch to keep smaller items like your, your phone or your car keys or your wallet. Um, so they're not, you know, flying around in here. But that's, that's what I do. And the hook and loop just uh, matches right up to that uh, hook and loop field right there. And you can also like, you know, put a concealed carry. So anyway, I use the keeper for my compass because I like to hang my compass out of my bag sometimes so I have ready access to it. So it's got that sleeve and that sleeve. Let me zipper it on up. Um, and it has this grab handle. When you're wearing the, your, this pack on your back, it's over your left shoulder. You can reach around with your right hand and whoosh, grab it, pull the whole pack around your front. So now it's in your front and you can access every pocket in the bag from the top, just like the Sitka. So that, that's pretty spiffy, and that's the way I use it. I usually have the zippers up top here. A little safety feature, I kind of forgot about those. Those are uh, a little feature where you can tuck 
zipper paracord ends in there and jack it shut. Again, just another little feature if you're using this for public use, you kind of want to safeguard your goods, you know? All right, so we got the bottle holder, the mid, this uh, front zipper pouch, this front sleeve, zipper sleeve. So let's go into the main area. So how did this open? About a third of the way here on the side, all the way around the top, all the way down the side, and halfway to the bottom. And it's going to open the same as that other pouch did. So there you go. So in here, in the main compartment area, there's a sleeve here and a larger sleeve here, and I just keep a pad of paper and some pens in there. Um, got my bug spray and sunscreen. Okay, so also in here is one zipper with two mesh pockets. You can see right through them. And another hook and loop field for any accessory. Like, where did that thing go? This double, boom, it would stick right on there. Help contain some of your small things. Yeah, these are cool. They're, you know, the expedition seems to be coming out with more and more of them. I think they're pretty handy dandy. All right, so let's zip that up. Make it look pretty. Get to the back. Let's get to the back of this bag. And the strap, too. Okay. Let's do the strap first, because actually I want to take the rolly, the rolly pulley off. Because, all right, so here's the strap. I keep my um, EC Izula on there with the micarta handles, which I just adore. I love. Back to the strap has a two inch SRB. And forgive me for the tack tie there. Um, I'm using it to hold down my excess strap because I actually, it came with a, um, a, an elastic, like a two inch elastic um, retainer band around there. And I broke it because one time over the winter I was hiking and I had, for some reason, I hooked, I used the slip hook here onto that elastic band and it was like flop, you know, it was elastic, so it was flopping. It was full of like, I think it had my tripod and my camera and my phone. I think it had some apples in it. You know, it was, it was heavy, and it, it actually broke the band, so I was kind of bummed out about that. But I was able to just wrap a 5-inch tactile around that, no problem. Okay, so that's the straps and molly attachments. Um, oh, yeah, it has a, uh, a sternum strap. And then when you're not using it, you can tuck it in this little hole here in the back. I use it all the time. You have to... I use it on my Sitka and I use it on this No Attack. It's brilliant. It's just seriously brilliant. This keeps the pack tight to your back. It's really comfortable. Uh, there's a little keeper on there. There's more Molly, some more Molly. And so this is padded, the strap. And the back is padded. Let me get this. I can't believe I didn't take the whistle off. That's noisy. Whistle. Um, and in the back is a, a bladder. What do you call this? A bladder compartment. You can put your, uh, I haven't tried it yet, the 100 ounce bladder. It's probably not going to fit. Um, I know a 50 looks like it definitely will fit. Not so sure about the 100. It's got a little loop in there so you, so you can hang your bladder. And there's no um, special um, built in hole for the tube to come out, but you can just have your tube come out. Just zipper it, just leave an inch at the top, and have your tube come out of there and roll down your strap so you can hydrate. Okay, so that's padded. All right, so let's see. I think that's about going to do it. That bears the Maxpedition No Attack. You can see that at maxpedition.com, and they have all the typical colors. And I hope you like the video, and I'm really glad I got to show you. I've made this video probably about four times, like in the woods, with one hand holding the camera, the other hand kind of holding the dog. And uh, I was going to post those, but I just, I just thought you guys deserved like a better look at it. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see y'all later. Take care.